Yo, what is up guys? It is Smool back again with another Epic 7 video for you guys today. And today we're going to be talking about a pretty much question that I've been getting asked a lot by a lot of new players. And that is going to be whether Angelic Montrancy or Angelica is going to be better to build. Before we get started with this video though guys, if you guys aren't already following me on Instagram, make sure you guys follow me there. We are doing a giveaway at 20k subscribers on YouTube. And the only thing you need to do to participate in that giveaway is follow me on Instagram and like the post that I upload there once I actually hit 20k subscribers, which should be within the next month or two. So yeah, Angelic Montrancy and Angelica. Both very good units. You're going to see right off the bat, my Angelica is actually ungeared because Angelica you'll eventually stop using and Angelic Montmorency you'll pretty much always be using. So that being said, that might be a turnoff to a lot of players, but you still are going to want to you know, know the strengths and the weaknesses of both of these units. So most people will actually build Angelica no matter what. And I think this is definitely the right choice. And the reason is because of the fact that she is so darn tanky. Her base stats are extremely high, making it so that she's very, very easy to gear for your Wyvern team, which is going to be that first team that you need to have built to actually start farming gear. If you're gear rolls well that you get from the free check-in event your hp set then a lot of people can forego building angelica and then build their angelic mount rants instead and actually just not use angelica so this is what i'm going to say right off the bat so if you guys have done the selector you know that check-in event that's going on right now day 15 right um obviously if you guys are past this check-in event then ignore this but if you guys have gotten this selector right and you chose tamarin then I would say you do not need to build your Angelica. You can just get away with building Angelic Montmorency. And the reason is because usually when you build your Angelica, you can still build Angelic Montmorency after and use both of these Soul Weavers together in a lot of content, such as Abyss, you know, Hell Raid and stuff like that, where you need multiple healing. Um, but if you have Tamarin, she actually takes Angelica's place and does Angelica's job, but a lot better because of the fact that she has so much more utility. And you can still run her alongside Angelic Montmorency for that perfect to Soul Weaver Core. If you don't have Tamarin though, I would still recommend building Angelica because, you know, even though you have all the other components to your Wyvern team, such as Mui, you know, Furious and Sigurd like that, and your Angelica is nowhere near dying, you're still going to need for the most part two Soul Weavers in a lot of hard content later on. And the best Soul Weaver besides like Tamarin and PvE, uh, for the most part for early game players that are easily accessible, um, it's pretty much only going to be Angelica and Angelic Montmorency. You can always run these two together and they're very strong, right? Both of these units complement each other very well because Angelica has a lot of healing and Angelica Montmorency has a lot of cleansing, right? So if you don't have Tamarin, Angelica is a great replacement until you get her. Um, if you do have Tamarin though, you can always use her instead of Angelica and it's better. Uh, same thing with Dien too. If you have Dien already, you probably don't need to build Angelica either. But keep in mind, even though if you already have Tamarin and Dien, if your HP free like check-in gear or whatever rolls very highly into effect resistance and stuff like that and not HP and defense, you're going to see that you might struggle on Wyvern and your units uh, or especially your frontline might die. Especially if you don't have a ice unit known as Mui, right? You might have a really hard time in Wyvern because Mui not only is he really good at defense breaking and debuffing you know for wyvern but his s2 is very important because it allows your frontline unit to take more turns with that cr push and also that decreased attack you'll see at the bottom here in the white text is insane for wyvern makes your tank your frontline take pretty much like no damage right so if you don't have mui you might find that your angelic mont reigns Rancy is like dying really quickly and it's going to be very very hard for her to survive which might make it a lot harder for your wyvern runs to you know work out the way you want it angelica though kind of negates this fact so you know the safest option is to build your angelica but you know you can always test out right angelic mount Rancy is always going to be a unit that you're going to want to build for pve so if you have tamarin dn like i said or dn like i said and you have like mui and you build your mount Rancy to tank wyvern you find that you're struggling still you can always just build your angelica she's very very good you know her best artifact for wyvern is a three-star artifact which is really easy to farm you know she also has that exclusive equipment that that'll give her more speed right very very powerful unit and you know if you do get dupes of her you can always imprint her for more hp to make your runs better um and joke montmorency's imprint is going to only be effect resist for herself so yeah not gonna really help too much in wyvern and angelic montmorency kind of wants different artifacts like margarajas and like rod and so forth so yeah that being said you know both units very good to build just wanted to talk about this topic because i've seen a lot of questions about it um long story short right if you have tamarin from the selector or you have 
DN from pulling for her, then you can forego skipping Angelica and go straight into Angelic Montmorency and use her as your Wyvern tank. But keep in mind if your gear rolls badly and you actually are struggling on surviving Wyvern, you might want to actually put Angelica and, you know, level her up and awaken her and use her as your tank because she is a lot more tankier. That being said, I hope this video helped you guys out and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.